Thanks for watching. I just want to cut this video in and let you know what's going on. So the last video that you saw was the caravan leaving the BLM land, the land trust. So that morning, um, Susan was not going to follow along with us because she had an appointment with Numar. So I filmed this video that you're going to see today that morning, but I wanted to keep it separate from the other video because this is more like a learning type of video. So I'm obviously editing it here now in my home, but I wanted to, to cut in and let you know. So one of her problems that um, Susan has was she bought the class A and she was full timing in the class A, but she had a real fear of needing to go somewhere and that the parking lot was going to be too small. Her class A is a 34 foot class A. So uh, in this video, she asked for help and I was helping her do that. Then I'm, after the video, I'm going to bring you back and I'm going to show you some of the changes that I've made on my phone. I have an Apple phone. This is an Apple 7 um, that I use for, as my phone. I have an Apple phone 11 also, but I use that one just for filming. So I'm going to bring you back and show you some of the changes that I made with Google Maps. If you have any questions for me on the Google Maps, let me know. But basically why, what I want to tell you is you can live a full-time RV life with a Class A motorhome. And it's very simple and you don't have to spend a lot of money traveling. You shouldn't be stuck at a Walmart all the time or places like that. People get hung up with this getting stuck in a Walmart for days and days and days and you're just going to ruin it for everybody. You can move from Walmart to Walmart every single day. You can move from a Walmart to a Cracker Barrel. You can move from a Walmart to a rest area. You can move every single day a little bit. You just have to budget yourself and do some planning. And that's where your Google, Google Maps comes in. You can find BLM spots. You can uh, pin them on your phone. So I think a lot of you who are in class A's or need a little bit of guidance as to how to use the, the, the Google Maps, because the Google Maps is so important if you do have a large class A and you really do have to see like the terrain when you get to a BLM land or want to plan in advance where you're going to park your RV when you get to a certain place. With the Google Maps, it's so simple to do. I think a lot of you get really scared to travel in a class A but that's so simple because all you have to do is with your data, you just have to research where you're going. So I'm going to try to get some of the fear out of your brain today as I'm showing her. And then I'm going to bring you back at the end of this video and I'm going to show you some of the changes that I implemented in my phone after my trip. I really need to learn that and, you know, build up my confidence going out there. So, okay. Yes. You know, and you know that I've been stressing about getting this rig fixed because it's like, okay, how am I going to do this? Where am I going to park? Where am I going to park? You yeah, know, so I, know. Well, I, I've I been, don't want to go I've there. Been, I've been, that's why I've been saying that I've been watching you and I know that. See that you're independent as far as driving the art, the class A, which is good because you are doing really well parking it and all of this and that. But you don't seem to know to where work. to where to put that thing during your days. So once you master that, you won't be afraid to be in that thing. And you really don't need to be at RV Park spending money all the time. Because you have everything on board. You have a generator. You have space. You have everything. So you could truly live this life, lifestyle comfortably. As long as you're, yes. and you're in the right weather. So, yeah, we'll work on that this week. Shut your door for a second so you can show me something. Okay. All right. Hold on. I'm going to open okay. it. Susan here. You just heard my phone call with her. Um, we were talking on the phone. We'll talk a little bit more about having a class A. And a lot of people think that they can't do this lifestyle of living off the road in a class A. But because she doesn't have a car, she could actually really do this lifestyle because she can move around a lot. She has a 34 foot, right? You have a 34 foot class A. So I'm gonna show her, cause her main problem is that she's afraid of where she has to go with that big RV. But the good thing is she doesn't have a tow behind. So that makes her way freer than most. So we're gonna, I'm gonna film this so that you guys can see how she's going to start learning this and she's going to get better at this and not fear things so much. Where is your Google Maps on here? No, your maps is here. All right, so there's your maps. Here's the address that you were going. You know it by heart. What she's going to do is she's going to enter the address here. Well, you know the name of the place? Because if you if you know, if the place has a name, you can oh, always it does. Yeah, yeah. What's it called? Freedom RV. Okay, then type that in. That's probably easier. Freedom RV Inc. Is it that one? No, East Irvington? This one right here. Okay. 
All right, so let's double check that that address is the address. It is, it is. You see it there? Yeah, right here. Okay, what we're gonna do here is going to save this. Did it hit do it? Okay, sorry. Yeah, you hit no. save. Save. Save, there okay, now I would put this under start places, okay? All right, there you go. So now hit done. All right, now I'm gonna go back, go back. Now go back, he's up here. All right, now you're gonna clear that out. Now you're gonna type in Cracker Barrel. Right here. Now you see, yeah, go ahead, hit the word Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel, a country store there, it's coming up, hit that one. All right, it's gonna bring us to where we're at now, but we wanna go down to where you were. So you were, what is this one here? Okay, there's it's the Cracker, cracker barrel. barrel, okay. So there's the Cracker Barrel, hit save. And uh, go up to start places. Okay, hit done. All right, go back. All right, so you should. Okay, now you got to clear that. Okay, so here's your start places. You have two start places. You have Where's this the other one. one. So Cortaro is here. This is where the mail place that we're going to is. And that's another thing you can start also. And then, did we hit the other one? Oh, Not here it is. Okay, so there's the dealer. So here is your Cracker Barrel. Here is your dealer. The mail place that we have to go to, I'll give you the address now, and you're going to star that too, so then you'll have it there. So now you know when you go down, and there's a Walmart. If you keep opening this up, you will see. Oh, I see. See it the Walmart here? Everything. Yeah, and the bigger you get, you see more stuff and more stuff. See how much bigger it's getting? Oh, I see. So you okay. see more stuff. So now you can plan. So let me give you the mail place, and then we're going to see how big the parking lot okay. is there, okay? And it's already saved. All right, so now you can clear that. All right, so here you are. You can see the Cracker Barrel here, the mail place here. So you see how close you are there? Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. So you can spend the night here, get up in the morning, mm -hmm. and be at the mail place at 9 to pick up your mail. Then you keep going down that road until you get to, because you don't have a time. Right here, right here. Oh, okay. Then you don't have a time to get there. So you'd probably be here maybe about 10 in the morning. If About you got 10. the mail, yeah, probably. I don't, I don't think that's too far. But how do I see what's around the uh, okay, post Okay, so office? let's go back to the post office then. Where's the post office? Can you find Further it there? Up, All right, here it is. Okay, okay, so you start opening it up. Oh, I see. Just open it up. Open it up. So here's the mail place. Now, I don't know on this phone. Um, I think it's this one. Okay, so you can see the terrain. terrain. You want to switch from terrain so then if you're doing blm you can go to terrain but usually the, the default or the satellite too is another one the satellite will actually show you here oh. okay so here's the parking lot this is what the parking lot looks like there seems to be a lot of parking because look there's another building here so you're good with the parking here this is the post office building this is all the parking lot here this and the there's this look at the, oh look at that okay but look at this parking lot here also Wonderful. this is huge so now if you go that's just across the street that's across the street so if you can't get your rig in here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just go around the block and park over here and walk over here but if you show up early in the morning or you could probably morning. park or even here yeah you can park there alongside and then just walk over so this is important for you this this change here of going from satellite default satellite to train actually if you prefer you can just leave it all the time on this because that really I, shows up yeah i i don't like it like this because for me it's easier to spot this the places first because mm -hmm. this is like a lot of stimulation there's yeah. a lot and then if you actually want to see that then you switch it over so you just hit that little thing there okay this one here yeah that little one right okay. that'll give you the different okay. options for satellite and terrain terrain would be like if you were going to blm land and you want to see okay now we saved everything here to all the places that i need to go yeah okay now how do i start leaving here guiding me through Google okay Maps? all right so now um let's exit here so let's put this back on default okay because it's easier default. to drive when you're doing it on that at least for me it is okay so all right so what you want to go to where the the, the new the new mar or the mail like you want okay you want to go to each one right well today because i'm going to be leaving later today you're going to where the cracker barrel okay so then we're going to hit the cracker barrel make sure it's coming up there what oh is i see what you do so you hit every one and then you go directions. right and then you hit directions beautiful okay all right now now there's two ways to do that this one will give you the directions where it shows you so you can research first you have different options it'll tell you 
you can go at one hour, 15 minutes, and one hour, 20, and then on the other option. So that's for your research. But if you know that you're going there, you can just hit start. And it will automatically head west on East Cottonwood Canyon Road. Take you Arizona and tell you how to get north. there. Okay, you see that? Got it. Okay, and if you turn it this way, you should be able to turn it. Yeah, this way with the, if you're driving. Now, if you're going, if you're going to use this, when you have a GPS on your phone on your RV, mm -hmm. so you can also enter the address there. Mm -hmm. It's probably better because they probably have entered entered for you. Though I don't trust it as much as I trust this one. Well, you probably might want to find out with the dealer tomorrow if they have entered your size into that GPS, and that's important for you to know. I'm going to ask them to update it. Update it tomorrow, it and the, you want to know if your size is entered in there. Right. That's the one you're going to want to use because there's a bridge up ahead that's too short. When you're traveling, well, that does my GPS on 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 the rig does warn me, and it takes me a different route around it. Okay, but if you're not using it and using this, not you're know. not going to know. So I'm that's why know. that is good for pre-planning, and you can have two because I do that. I have two sometimes. I've done that. Okay, so then, but the other one, if you can type in an address, use the other one, and just have this as a backup. But this is good for planning and for putting your stuff. So now you just have to get the address. So, well, all you have to do is just go down here now and get the physical address and type that into the big GPS. Right. That's all. And then that'll take you there. Well, there's so, several Cracker Barrels, though, in Tucson, isn't there? Oh, yeah. There's a lot. I already checked it. There's none near the dealer. Okay. So, this is the Cracker Barrel here. The one that you have started. So, you'll know. the address. Well, oh. you, you'll know because it'll show you that you saved it. If that wasn't on... That means that's not the one that you saved. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. So you keep going down and then you'll see it says 8400 North oh, Carrico. Okay. So you're going to okay. type that into your GPS. Okay. And if I were you, I'd head there at least by four o'clock. Okay. Because it's Sunday and a lot of people eat early and you want to make sure you get a spot. Well, now, if you like couldn't get a spot. 15 minutes, so maybe I should leave a little bit earlier. So if you didn't get a spot, you know, the Walmart's down the road. You can always go there. I don't know if that Walmart allows overnight. You could always spend the day at Walmart and then head back later, you know, to, when, Cracker, Barrel. to Cracker Barrel at the end right, of the day. So. Right. Good. Thank you so much. Well, the three main places on Google Maps is favorite places want to go and start. The start I use because I'm moving. I don't really necessarily, when I get to Florida, I don't need those places. So mm -hmm. I just go in and delete them. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. They just get me through the moment. The want to go are places that I want to go. So if I click on there, you'll see these are like all of like Superstitious Mountain. All of those places oh. are going to be here that I've saved. Um, okay. Oh, like a lot of places. Okay. Like the Alamo is here, whatever. So. So those are my lists. And then I made my own, which is for the RTR. And what I did was, oh, this is places to eat. I made up this one because if I hear of a good restaurant mm -hmm. when I'm researching, mm -hmm. I put it in there. If I'm in the area, I'll see it. And then the one for the RTR is my entire RTR trip that I that I entered in here. So this is this is my entire I plan my entire trip and all the stops oh, I see. along okay. the way so that's and then I could if I'm doing another trip I can name it something else but I save it because if I ever come out west again I can use that use that okay it's favorite places are like let's say you went to an RV park and you really like that RV park mm -hmm. you do would put that as a favorite place because if you return to the area now it's a favorite place you okay. understand if you go to like state parks places that you want to visit it would be one to go and then start places. Those are things that I know I can just delete them after I move on. Okay, so let's just say I'm going to get out of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to hit this, right, can, to go yeah, back? You can or? just get out of there. Yeah, now I make sure that this is cleared. Yeah, just, yeah, you could just. Yeah, okay, just clear go. it here. So yeah, I'll go you back can go to there. That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now there's nothing. It just exits. You can also hit explore nearby, and there's other things. You, you have to play with this. So, know. but I can, but I can exit this. Yeah. Okay, and get back to to the very. Okay. Yeah, now to this. I'm taking off. Yeah. So that's 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 easy. You just got to play with it and practice, and you yeah, should probably yeah. practice with it while we're together. Because if you have questions, uh, you can ask me. See, this is where you were talking about over here. Too, yeah. So. Okay. And you can make your own list for different things like RV park. Well, you know, I, I put my RV parks under favorites. Start places for me is like I told you, places I'm I'm going to be deleting. 
and then one to go these are all the places that somebody says to me oh you should go to tonto state park i look it up and then i tap it and if i'm in the area i'll know it'll come up on my okay. map okay okay so you enter that as your favorite yeah and then you can you make go. lists for routes or whatever if you want okay. to do that so i'm going to show you some of the things that i have changed on my phone and you took a look you saw my phone okay so you can see that I have lots of things on my phone and um, I just want you to see because I didn't explain it well in the video but she did understand it so everything that you see in green is places I want to go to every time I get an address or somebody gives me a suggestion in the comments I put it on my phone and um, you'll see here like for instance this is Pine Creek Mill or just different places so when I'm planning my trip I already have places lined up then I'm interested to go and it just makes it really simple for me. You should just see that it'll show you that I have it under my saved. That's my saved. Let me show you the list of what I have on my phone. Down here at the bottom, you're gonna see several things that says saved, commute, contribute, updates. Okay, so I'm gonna hit saved. And this is my list. These are the lists that I keep. As you can see, I have added some extra lists since I got back and I'm um, I'm, I'm doing more as I as I need to. So. I have a list for my favorites, like I said. These are my favorite RV parks so far that I really, really like, and I would love to go back there again. So that is just the truly favorite places. Want to go are places that I want to go. So those are all the ones that you saw that were in green. The start places, um, let me get back to this one in a second. I'm gonna go back, because this is an important one, and I think a lot of people don't know how to use the start places. So I'm gonna bring you to that in a second. Um, this is what I, what you saw in the video that was RTR. It is now called the Out West route. And um, if I show it to you, this was my entire trip out west. And um, these are a lot of places that I marked going, a lot of uh, gas stations, a lot, all pretty much a lot of the Planet Fitnesses. They're all done for me. These were a lot on my way back because we came in through Dallas on the way back. So that's already done. That work's done. So I'm not going to delete that because that's a lot of work that was done there. And if I travel out west, I will definitely have a lot of things already marked for me. All right, church is another place, another new one that I just added because on my next trip going fall, going out to the fall, we're going to be going to churches on Sunday if we can. And I'm going to be researching some churches on the road. I'm going to be really picky as to the churches that I'm going to be attending. So right now I only have one place there, but I will be uh, choosing more as I go. If you have suggestions for churches that are really good, spirit-filled, and uh, and they have a good word of God, let me know, and I would love to visit them. And then maybe you can visit us um, on our caravan trip this year. Okay. The next one is BLM Land. These are places that truly were my favorite BLM pl places uh, spots. So that's where where you're gonna find that. Um, Christian is just places that Christian has been uh, staying at. He's been visiting and, and staying places. So I just follow him for the places he's been at. Places to eat is places, like you said, like I said, that people recommend. So I put them in my map. So I'll click on that one. And <clears throat> you'll see it here in the map. It'll automatically show me the places that I want to eat at. Next one is the visited and the want to go. Okay, so the want to go is the green one. If I click on the want to go, you're gonna see it in the map. These are all the places that I haven't visited that I want to visit. So now when I'm I'm planning my trip up to Tennessee this year, I can see here all of the places and plan my route according to all the places that I wanna visit on my way up there. So I love that. But once I've already visited a place, like let's say I went to the Billy Graham Library, if I was already there, I would tap on saved and I would remove, I would, uh, if I've already visited, I would put it under visited. And then I would remove it from my want to go because I was already there. So it would be, so I would come here and put visited and then remove it from here. See that? It said remove from the list. So if I hit the word remove, it'll remove it from want to go. And we'll put it on my visited list. But I don't want to do that because I want to go there. So I'm going to do that. So what that's going to do is that's going to bring me to my list, show list, okay. So that's going to bring me to my visited places. And the reason I have visited places because it's so wonderful 
for me to go back and look at all the magical places that I've been to in my lifetime. And of course, this is also places that I can get information for for you guys when I do my videos. So a lot of the places that really were worth it for me, they're all going in this in this list. So I just love having a list to remind me of all the places. And I also have it for my scrapbooks. So once I visit a place, I move it to my visit it. Okay, so now let's go to the start places. Let me show you what I did with the start places. Now this is really important for me because when I look at my Google Maps, let me go to the maps. These are all the places that are yellow and they're going to stand out from the green and everything else. This is stuff that is going to get me through my day. So I just want you to see here, when I was coming back, I went through Louisiana and I came down this route and I marked some places that I could overnight in. So if I tap on that, you're going to see that's a Walmart that I marked. I was coming down this, that was Muffin. By the way, guys, that is Muffin sleeping there making noise. Okay, so you can see these are places on my route back that I wasn't sure which one of these I was going to stay at, but I know that if I made it to this one, that I would go to that. See, these things I don't need right now. I can delete them because that was just for that particular trip coming back that I was trying to just find some places on my way back that I could stay at. So because they're yellow, they stand out. And those are the ones that I use for my daily planning. Okay, so this is where it changes a lot for me because before I, it, everything would, if I marked something, places I want to go, like a Walmart, and then I'd look at my map, it would all be the same color. And I was like, oh, you know, how am I going to see this? So by having it yellow, it really does focus on just the things for the day. And a lot of times, um, the places that I'm going to go to also that are green, the one for the day, I would also mark it as a star because now that is my destination and I want only to concentrate on that day, on that particular day, on the on the things that are marked in yellow. Then at the end of the day, once I've reached my destination or whenever, or in the morning the next day, I will do my new planning and I will delete all the things that I need to or I will put them in the list that I want to save it on. So if it's a lit, if it's something where I visited it, I would move it to the right. So I just want to show you what it looks like on the phone. When you're looking at the phone, places I want to go to is in green. And then these are some other places that I saved, which is probably my out west trip. So you see the different colors, but you see how the yellow stands out. Let me find the yellow here. Okay, so here's a here's my trip coming back. Here, let me go here. Okay, so here's a route that I took. You see that yellow? That yellow is going to stand out a lot, and it's going to differentiate from the one ago to other places that I marked. So that is my planning for the day. I'm going to follow the yellow. The yellow are the highlights. So in the yellow, I might have for the day. Let me just give you an, let me just give you an idea. And this is why I wanted to do this because you plan your day. If you're going from, let's say you woke up at a Walmart and you want to go to a library for some internet to do some work. So you can mark the library near you in yellow. If let's say after the library, you're going to the Planet Fitness to take a shower. And this is an area that you're moving because you're moving around all day long. So now you would mark the Planet Fitness that you have decided to go to. Perhaps it's nearby the library. You would have marked that in the morning. Uh, let's say you're going to do grocery shopping or you want to go to a Walmart for the middle of the day to have lunch. and But then you plan on going to a park for the afternoon for a hike. So you can also mark the Walmart for the day in yellow. Then let's say you're going to go to a, a day, a, a recreational park for the day where it's free. You can walk your dog, go outside or a dog park where you can walk your dog and you want to go outside and do a, 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 you know, some walking or whatever in the afternoon after lunch. So you would mark that in yellow. So now you would have the park also. And then let's say your next stop as you're moving is a cracker barrel, maybe five miles away from all of this area you have a Cracker Barrel mark for the night. So now you know you're going to sleep at a Cracker Barrel that night. You're going to come in and you're going to roll in 
maybe 10 o'clock when the store is closed and then you're going to try to roll in and, and get a spot there so you would have five things marked in yellow for the day and now you knew exactly where you were going to be on that day from place to place to place, place and you you were following your route on the way you're moving so this is why i use the google maps because that helps me organize my day and just concentrate and focus on those things that i'm going to get done that day plus the other reason is because now i just have to tap the yellow marker like i did like let's say here i marked the yellow one it's showing me this yellow one that i so i'm going to show you here uh, let's see i'm going to mark a yellow one here all right here's one all right so you can see there's a yellow one there if i tap on that yellow one oops sorry all right if i tap on the yellow one it's going to come up with what it is this one so this yellow one i tapped on it when you tap when you tap on it it's going to turn red this was a costco that i wanted to go shopping and pick up some stuff or get gas i don't i don't remember which one it was but when i get there it's going if you go down it's going to have the physical address here right here you can just go down and you're going to see the physical address so if you had a gps like susan had this is the, the one that she drives on which is her main one that has her size and everything like mine is because I only use this as a backup. I really punch everything into my other GPS. So what I would do is I would take the address and punch it into my GPS, and then now my GPS had the address. Sometimes you'll have coordinates in here, and then you can also type in coordinates as well into your GPS. So that's the way that I plan my day, and that's the way that I suggest that most people plan their day if they're on a budget and then they're in a class A, and you just wanna live on the road but you don't necessarily have to be looking at things all day long you just can't be parked in one place for a while because obviously you're going to draw attention to yourself and they're going to come and say well why have you been in the walmart for five or six days you should be moving every single day but you do have to do a little bit of planning especially if you work on the road this is very economical way to live on the road because you can be moving and you can be going to a library for really good wi-fi and spending your your time there you can be traveling to you know a lot of different places that's my favorite way to use the google maps i like it very simple i like it very easy it just makes my day that i can get things done right. i hope this video helps you if you have any questions if you need to learn learn something or you want to see a follow-up video to this please let me know the best way for you to handle the google maps is not be afraid of it play with it it really helps a lot if you make your own list so that you have things already done but the great thing about google maps is once you are ready to enter things into your google maps they're there for like forever unless you delete them so once you've done the work like i did the work for my uh, for my trip out west because i spent a lot of nights putting in all of this information just making it easy for me if i was traveling with the caravan so i wasn't doing so much planning every day because i knew i was going to have the girls with me i was going to be busy working so i planned all the planet fitness this is work that's already done for me so when i go out west again or taking that trip it's done and this is a great thing about um doing these kind of things so thank you for watching i hope this video helps you and i hope you have a wonderful evening thank you so much for watching and stay tuned because I got more videos coming up. Also, by the way, guys, I am back home. I do have my water back, but I do have to start wrapping up my caravan videos. I'm going to give you a brief video this week of all the stuff that happened during the water situation. And I'm still going to show you about the shower. I'm going to show you a couple of things, but I'm going to try to condense it into one video because I really have to get the caravan videos done because I have travels planned for June. This is why I have to move along. It takes me a lot of hours to edit the caravan videos. Number one, there's a lot of footage. Number two, the narrations take a while. The research uh, to do things take a while. Um, editing takes a while, of course. Color grading, all of that stuff. Um, you know, putting titles and words and all of that stuff takes time. And music, finding music also takes time. Yes, I go to Epidemic Sound for my music, but I also have to sit and listen to tons and tons of music in order to pick the best music for my videos. So that's why a lot of the caravan videos take so long for me to do, but it's because I really want to have these memories saved for me because they're like a 
they're like a moving scrapbook for me of my journeys and my life and i'm bringing all of you along so with that said thank you for watching we're going to be moving a little bit faster this week but i appreciate all of you watching and have a wonderful day thank you for watching bye thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell don't forget to leave your comments down below Oh, I'm still falling asleep. Yeah, I look comfortable. What's this? Stickers! Get yours by going to the description box below.